Hello everybody and welcome to my sixth tutorial on Microsoft Access Queries and this tutorial is going to show you how to use uh, the, the, fu the functions for, for counting records and for summing records rather than just simply showing you the information. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to click on new and uh, design view um, as normal and then I want the items, the sales, the customers, the countries, and the cities. So almost all of them. Um, I'm just going to organize them a little bit better. And there we go. And just pull this down a bit. Uh, so we've got all our links right. So let's just check them. So we've got item number into item number, customer ID, customer ID, city into city name, and country into country name. So the first thing we want to do um, is we just want to click on this button up here, which is the totals button. Uh, and this is going to give you an extra row uh, in, of, in here that just lets you manipulate your data in a slightly different way. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to go to a where expression. Um, now, if we put a country name in there, get rid of this one. Um, so put your, your, your field in first. I'm going to change at the moment it's changed by group by so that's just going to put it as it's, I'm going to group the information by this field. Um, so then I'm going to change this to where. So all, all where does is it just switches it from grouping it by the information um, to saying okay only bring data through where currency is your criteria. Um, you notice that it's also turned the show off automatically, um, so you can't show you where um, because it, it just wouldn't make make sense because it's only criteria. Uh, and then we're going to make that the UK because we only want UK information. Well, then for each of our sales, we're going to put um, the uh, customer name, uh, and we're then going to put in the item cost in pounds uh, and so this is only going to show the UK so this is why I've put this criteria in uh, because if it was shown once for Europe then we'd want to use the euros uh, I'm going to show you how you can do both later on uh, so item cost pounds uh, and then I don't actually want to group by because this is just going to give me a list of all the different pounds that are input for the, that customer um, so instead, I'm going to click on the drop down. I'm going to click on count to start off with. So this is just going to count how many records there are for each customer that lives in the UK. Uh, and I'm going to run this now. Uh, and it's coming up with none of them. So somewhere I've done something wrong. So currency... So I've gone for currency rather than country name. So let's just drop that back up. Country name, run that. And then, so these are all the UK customers. Uh, and this is counting how many times they've they've had a sale. Um, just as an important note, if you've got any customers from the UK that didn't have any sales, then they wouldn't show up on here. It's only going to show ones with a minimum of one um, because otherwise it's not going to recognize them as being grouped together um, so that's just an important thing to to, to note um, so next up I'm just going to show you uh, sum uh, so change this to sum run it and you'll notice that for each of the the customers now instead of counting how many sales it's had it's summed up the amount of pounds they've spent so this is just giving us a okay for each customer we want to know how much money they've spent um, and you don't have to just stop at putting one in if we put in another one and we put that one as a count and then run that and then we've got the amount of items that that they've brought and then we've also got the amount of pounds that they've spent as well uh, and you can keep going and there's various other ones you can do um, I'm not going to put them all in I'm just going to talk you through them so you've got average that is just going to average them 
Um, you've got minimum that shows you the lowest amount, maximum that shows you the highest, um, and then the rest of them um, I've never actually used, so I wouldn't really want to want to talk about them. Um, standard deviation and and, and variance. Um, I imagine it is probably going to just give you the standard deviation of the data set. Um, so quite useful if you know what standard deviations are. Um, and expressions I'm going to come on to in a minute. Um, but the, these are the main ones that you're going to be using. Sum, average, minimum, maximum and count. Um, so let's say Let's show you a good use of the, the maximum ones. Let's get rid of them. Let's put in date in here and put the maximum. Uh, maximum, maximum. And then run that. So that's going to give you the most recent sale, so to speak. Um, so it's all about working out what actual information you want to see um, and then what what uh, what total you're going to need then also how you're going to group it as well. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to how to use the uh, the expression uh, in in here. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next.